me tell you guys. Uh, let me just give me a two minutes of time. Let me check like who has been the new participants. Um, like I think so many people are there actually, guys. Manohar, yeah. Sakshi, just give me a minute. Sonam, yeah. Uday, right. Okay, guys. <clears throat> So guys, I can see some. Um, I can see some more people has been joined to, as a today's class. Uh, today, I think you have been joined as a demo class actually, guys. But um, let me tell you what has been happened, guys. So in the last week only, we have been started this session. Um, last week means it is almost all two weeks actually, guys. One week is a just a demo session actually, guys. So it is hardly two two weeks. It has been got happened. Just we have been started with some first week. We have been taken a demo session actually. Demo means like what is data science, what is machine learning. Uh, these are the some of the things what I have been got discussed about that. So that has been happened for one week. One week means it is not too much time actually, guys. Just hardly 45 minutes, 50 minutes class only. I can see that actually we have been taken. So in second week, I have been started with the basics of Python. We have been got started actually, guys. So this has been happened for some another one week. It has been what happened, but I can see some more guys has been joined now. So don't worry, guys. Um, I'm going to take some backup session actually. So I think uh, I can see somewhere around seven to eight people has been joined for the today's class. Uh, I can see your names like uh, some names I can see who has been joined for the today's class. Somebody has been joined in the previous sessions only. But a very few people, seven or eight people has been already joined. They have been already registered for the course. I can see another seven to eight people. I can see it actually, guys. So don't worry, guys, because I thought that maybe one or two people may join, but I have seen a little bit more people has been joined. So don't worry, guys, who has been joined for the today's class. So don't worry about that because um, I didn't expect it that these many guys will join. I expected that there may be some regular students. There are seven or eight students has been already registered. I expected that maybe somewhere around three to four people, but I can see somewhere around more than eight people, eight participants are there who has been joined for the today's class. So I'll do one thing, guys. Don't worry about that because what has been happened, don't worry about that. It's the only basic things. If you are already having some core concepts of Python, it's a very simple topics only, which you can understand them. Don't worry, I'm going to take the backup sessions, guys. If you really feel that there is actually I can give you a recorded sessions actually. So I can take some kind of a backup sessions. I can take it actually. But just give me one or two days of time. I'll arrange the backup sessions actually, guys. Okay. So don't worry about the completed classes, what has been already done. It's only basics and only some part of introduction only we have been got started. So in first week, only thing is uh, like what is data science? Uh, like what is machine learning, what we can do it in machine learning. Uh, it's only just an introduction part. Actually, actual discussions will be there and actual explanations will be there whenever we start with our regular classes of machine learning. So that you can just go through the recorded videos and you can go through them. And coming to the Python also, guys, we are still in the basic concepts only. So don't worry within just two or three classes, hardly Whatever the basics I have been got discussed is hardly three, four days concepts only, guys. Not more than that. So what is my suggestion for the guys who has been joined for the today's classes? Again, I cannot start from the introduction part in the today's class because I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. I will arrange the backup sessions, guys. So whatever the classes you have been got missed, I am going to discuss as part of that particular backup session, guys. Okay. I'll plan it. I am going to plan those particular sessions. And my team will intimate you about those particular sessions, maybe by the end of the week or maybe some Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even I'll take a Sunday session and I'll take some kind of a backups and I'm going to make you understand whatever the missing classes are there. So we have not yet started with any machine learning concept. We didn't started anything about data science classes, actually, guys. Actual classes, we have been not started about that. So don't worry about the classes. I just started with some introduction part of the data science. And we have started with the one week of Python classes only. We have been got discussed. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll add them. We'll, we'll know everybody's going to know about that. We'll have all that information. I'm going to do that actually, guys. Okay, fine. So don't worry about that. Uh, no, no, no. It's no worries. Don't worry about this, guys. My backend team will have all your details and they will take care about that. Okay, I'll add up everything in the backup session who has been 
everything will 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 share it with you okay fine guys fine so we expected actually guys actually uh, initially only uh, we have some around 30 registrations are there but very few guys are start join for the last class and basically this uh, session 9:30 to 10:30 we have been planned targeted audience are going to be employees because so many people are asking for the late night batches we have been scheduled this actually guys maybe i don't know what is the reason it may be a short um, intimation or something like that very few guys has been joined and we expected that more people will be joining uh, as part of the registration but i can see but today we have a good number actually guys so 20 people i think 20 participants are there now uh, including me and my back end team it is 17 candidates will be there sufficient guys 20 21 22 25 people will be there so don't worry about the data science classes guys because everybody is having an interest like they we don't want to study with the python so what what we are going to learn as part of the data science what are the techniques what are the technologies we are going to learn i'll arrange a backup session guys don't worry just give me one or two days of time i'll take a backup session so today uh, don't worry even if you are not familiar with the concepts whatever i'm talking today don't worry about that just go through the class it is only just like a why do you why basically the demonstration is required guys like to know what is our plan like what is our schedules like how we are planning the schedules or how my lectures are there uh, is my is i'm teaching in a proper way or not so how is my explanations uh, can you catch up my accent or not so to get some idea about that we'll attend the demo classes right so after that you will plan it whether you want to join my class or some other x batch or y batch you want to join it actually so being i cannot directly start with the today's i don't have any plan for that actually let us happen today and tomorrow will just happen actually we'll just plan for the as usually with the python classes guys maybe today tomorrow and day after tomorrow as of my plan if the same numbers are there monday tuesday wednesday will cover them and i'll break the batch and thursday friday saturday and sunday i'll take the backup sessions i'll cover all the things actually guys okay and being it is already a late night batch i cannot extend the batch more and more that is a one of the reason but we'll try to we'll try to just make up the backup sessions so that everybody will be on the same page but today uh, everybody is not on the same page some of them are in advanced level some of them are going to be in the beginning levels actually if you are already having the concepts of python guys you can handle that we can just understand the concept what i'm talking about okay so guys don't worry who has been joined for the today's class so please give me just one or two days of time because the batch was already started you may be having a little bit lagging is there for you so don't worry i'll take up the backup sessions and cover all that particular whatever the missed topics are there guys okay i'll give you five ten minutes uh, time i'll give you guys at the end of the class so that we can have some discussions uh, we'll have a discussions guys okay right guys uh, hope all of you understood what i have been explained guys fine guys so you can use a chat panel guys try to answer it just try to make it interactive just answer it as yes or no so that i can know like what you are feeling uh, regarding the my discussions actually okay so shall i continue guys shall i continue with the regular class guys right i'll i'll, I'll continue with the regular class guys maybe okay. some of you will already have an ideas about that if you're already having a python you don't find any difficulties okay fine so guys we have been started with um, currently our discussion is on the a python concept which is going to be in python we have something called as n sequences actually guys normally if you have an idea about a programming languages so it's not a python class actually guys we are learning python for implementation of the data science concepts so some little bit core python is required guys two weeks python is going to be required the two weeks python is only what i'm trying to discuss it here actually guys okay so in python we have some concept called as n sequences actually guys some kind of a data structures which are basically to store multiple values actually like we have something called as a list we are having something like a tuples we have a set objects and we are having something called as an a dictionary objects actually guys these are the four basic data structures which we use it in python currently we have started with the list concept actually guys what is a list actually a list is going to be nothing but it is a collection of some which is going to be some kind of an heterogeneous elements actually it is not just a single value actually guys it can store multiple elements those elements can be 
it it can be of a different different data types heterogeneous how do you create a list actually guys list is created just by enclosing within a square brackets like in other languages you need not to write something like list integer float okay string we need not to write it actually guys simply we are going to put some kind of a square brackets actually yeah yeah i'm discussing i'll discussing it actually guys nice just i'm giving some idea about what the what has been happened actually so list is going to be nothing but a collection of some heterogeneous elements what we are going to be having actually guys an integer and we have a float we can have a string we can have a bool etc etc we can have it actually guys so this is how do you create a list <clears throat> to manage this list actually to manage the list what is meaning of managing of list actually guys we can add some elements we can remove the elements we can modify the elements so we have to require some kind of a methods that are required actually guys so very simple guys i have discussed only four methods as of now i discussed only four methods actually guys so if you are already having an idea about object oriented guys well and good who has already having the idea about object oriented even if you do not have any idea just understand them i am going to discuss about those particular applications later actually guys so i have been got discussed about what is a method actually guys method is nothing but just a function which is used to do some management or a manipulation with that list actually guys so for example if x is a nothing but a list so this is going to be nothing but a list actually guys i am going to use a method associated with the list actually which is going to be nothing but i can say x dot clear actually guys what is this clear is going to do it is going to clear all the elements from the list actually guys there are going to be clearing all the elements from the list total the total list is going to be gets cleared actually guys that is nothing but what we call it as a clear method and apart from that i have been discussed about a method called as a count you have to give some input value whatever the value we have been given it will gives you the count the occurrence how many times that particular value has been got occurrence actually guys the occurrence of the value in the list so at least i'll expect guys like who has been joining for the data science at least they will have some basic knowledge of programming concept so at least i expect that at least we have some minimal knowledge of programming so that uh, it's a person who is completely without having any knowledge of computers they don't prefer to learn a data science actually because data science is completely a little bit higher level concepts actually same as it is i have been told about a method called as a pop method actually guys pop is going to be nothing but what it is going to do is it is going to remove the element at the given index normally like other languages index start from 0 to n from the left to right don't worry guys it is also from right to left also we can talk about them don't worry about that right to left index also we can define it actually guys it is indexed based it is going to remove the element actually guys it removes the element at the given index actually at the given index it is going to give remove the element actually guys and then we have been got discussed about x dot remove i'll just show you once a quickly i'll show you guys after that you can understand the things it is going to be value based removes the given value actually guys given value from that particular list if the value is available from the multiple um it's going to be available for multiple times only the first occurrence will be removed actually guys for example if i have x is equal to we have 20 we have a 10 we have a 20 again a 10 again a 20 again a 10 some 30 40 we have it actually if i said remove 10 only this 10 will be removed but not all the tens only the first occurrence will be removed actually guys we are completely in the beginning concepts only guys i didn't started with any complicated work actually we didn't started with any main work also okay so this is a very simple installation guys installation of python is not a complicated one so this is going to be a simple installation of python installation i'll show you later the backup sessions i'll arrange the backup session and i will explain it actually guys i'll arrange the backup session guys as soon as possible don't worry about that okay so fine so this is going to be what i am going to call it as an ideal actually guys i'll tell you about more about the ideal which comes along with the python installation only which i have done the python installation along with the python installation only i have got this particular ideal actually guys you can see a prompt like this actually guys 
we can see a prompt like this actually guys see guys how i'm creating x is equivalent to nothing but 10 which is a true i said which is an hello and which is going to be something like n 20.45 actually guys it's a list actually guys i'll tell you all the things guys don't worry just it's very simple simple topics only guys i didn't started with any complicated topics actually so in like in other programming languages we don't require any declaration part in python because python is a dynamically typed language guys like other programming languages you don't declare in other languages we'll declare it now guys like which is going to be something like an um uh, it's an integer it's a float it is going to be a bool we'll do it now guys in python we don't do it actually guys i'll tell you guys it's a one of the feature of python which is going to be what we are going to call it as an it's a python is going to be a dynamically typed language actually guys python is a dynamically typed language which is going to be nothing but no declaration is required no declaration is required actually guys like other languages even i can work with integers i can work with strings i can work with bools i can work with actually guys x is equal to i said hello x is equivalent to hello actually guys if i said what is going to be type of the a type is the function which will tell you like what type of data type it is going to be there got got the point guys so here you can also ask what is the length also if i say length of the a it will tell you like how many characters are there hello is a collection of characters uh, string string is a collection of characters length of x we can say it actually guys it is 4 so if i want i can print the value of x actually guys don't expect that like a programming language we do it actually guys not like a programming language so don't expect like c c plus plus java we are going to write a dot c file save the file main method compile the program save the file uh, run the program we don't do it actually guys simply it is going to be x and print x actually over you can see it actually guys so if you want to remove the elements let me count it actually guys how many times 10 was there you can see the count actually guys it was there for one time x dot count of 100 it is going to be there for zero time these are methods actually guys these are what we call it as methods so the guys who are already having the idea about object oriented they may know about this even if you do not have the idea, don't worry, guys. I'll explain. I'll take a backup session. So I'll complete off that. X dot count of 100, actually, guys. 100 is not there. So we can see the zero value. I want to remove the elements, actually, guys. X dot pop. Pop is basically based on the index base removing, actually, guys. Index base means which one? 0, 1, 2, 3. Like this, we can specify that. 0, 1, 2, 3. Even we can write in reverse order, actually, guys. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. It is from left to right, right to left index is there. If I said x dot pop of two actually, guys, the second element will be removed. Second index, 0, 1, 2. Hello will be removed actually, guys. It will tell you like what value has been removed also, it is going to tell you. Don't think that it is only returning the data actually, guys. That particular 22, the element at 2 has been removed and written the value actually. So now if you can see x, you don't see the hello actually, guys. Previously, the length of the x is going to be 4. But now I can say length of the x is equal to 3 actually, guys. Why? Because you can see one element has been got removed. So pop is built basically on the index. If I don't specify which value we have to remove, it automatically removes the last element actually, guys. It automatically removes the last element, x dot pop. It removes the last element actually. That is going to be what we are talking about, the pop method. Once again, I'll create it. 10, 20, 10, which is 30, 20, again a 10, 20, again a 20, 30, whatever you want, you can give it actually. No worries. Now we can say x dot, which is going to be remove. Remove is not based on the index, guys. It is completely based on the value. If I say remove of one, you will get an error actually. Why? Because one was not in the list. Index pop will can do that actually, but remove can't do that because remove is value based actually, guys x dot i said remove of which is going to be 10 only the first occurrence of the value will be removed it won't remove all the tens one two three tens are there so out of the three tens one ten has been got removed now if you want we can count it actually guys x dot count of 10 we can see the result is going to be two is the result what we can see it actually okay so something like that we can see that so these are the four methods i have been got discussed Actually, on Saturday, uh, very few guys has been joined. Only three people has been joined. And what I thought is it may be an important um, class 
So I didn't take in the class on the Saturday. I canceled the session. But for next week, I don't do it actually, guys. Actually, some of the guys said, said that, sir, let us give the recording session for them. But I have been excused actually because it's an introduction classes, no? Beginning classes, if you miss the classes, you may not understand the topic. That's why this week I have been given the excuse, guys, from next week. Uh, even if the uh, if the number of uh, attendance is going to be very low also we'll we'll take up the class and those recordings we can we can take it and we can understand the recordings actually so on saturday we didn't take in the class due to some less participations are there so today we'll continue with the same class actually guys so totally how many methods we have been got discussed guys we have been learned about four methods one is going to be nothing but i i discussed about a clear the second one is going to be nothing but we discussed about a count and we discussed about a pop method and we have been discussed about a remove method actually. Clear, pop and remove, almost all, all the three are using for the same purpose actually. We are used for removing the element from the list. Clear will remove all the elements. Pop is going to remove at the given index. Pop will remove the element from the given index. Remove is going to be remove the first occurrence of the given value. Count is not doing any removing or adding. It is going to be completely only for counting, actually, guys. So today I'll tell you about another three more methods. Actually, totally 11 methods are there, actually, guys. List is associated with 11 methods, as I told you, except copy. Copy I'm not going to discuss now. Uh, copy is a method. You need not to, I told you, nothing to hide from you, guys. I can't hide anything from you, guys. Because you can see it, actually, guys. Can you see x dot? When I said X dot, automatically all of them will pop up actually, guys. All of them will automatically pop up. I don't do anything actually, guys. If you want, I can uh, I can zoom in, I can show you actually, guys. So there is an append method is there. Uh, actually, I discussed only clear. Copy, I said that I don't discuss it now. I'm not going to discuss it now. Count, I have been got discussed. Pop, remove, I have been got discussed actually, guys. Totally, there are 11 methods are there. There is a one more is there actually, guys. Sort is there at the bottom. We have to scroll it down. We have to scroll it down. You can see a sort at the bottom. Totally, if you count it, guys, 11 methods will be there actually. I don't discuss the copy because copy cannot understand now itself. So remaining out of that particular remaining 10, we already covered four. Still, we have a six methods are there. Slowly, I'll discuss it, guys. Now I'm going to discuss about another three more methods actually, guys. One is going to be append. The other one is going to be a method called as an extend. And one more is going to be what we call it as insert, guys. Totally, there are three methods are there. They are a little bit similar. That means they are not exactly the same, guys. They are a little bit same, same concept. The same concept will be there. Basically, these three methods are basically to add the elements, actually, guys. Clear, pop, and remove what they will do, guys. They will remove the elements. They are going to remove the elements actually, guys. Whereas this append, extend, and insert, basically they are a user to remove the elements actually, guys. They are going to be basically user to remove the elements. Sorry, um, append, extend, and insert. Basically, there are user to add the elements actually, guys. They are basically user to add the elements. So all the three will do the same thing, but it's a slightly different. It is going to do actually, guys. So guys, who has been joined for the today's class, hope you can able to follow it actually. Even you have not joined from the beginning, they are very simple. I created a list. Now what I did is I'm just remo I removed the element from the list. Now I'm going to be discussing about how to add the elements to the list actually, guys. The names are very easy. Append, extend, insert. Almost all, all the three are telling the same thing. Append, you can append the elements. Extend. We are extending the. You, you can. You are extending the uh, the list actually, guys, by adding some elements actually, and we are inserting the elements actually. Then what is the difference between all these three actually, guys? Let me explain you. Append is going to be because we are still in the beginning, guys. Um, some of the points may not be gets connected to you. Uh, it will take some time. Slowly, step by step, step by step. I'll explain it actually, guys. Slowly, uh, step by step, I'll explain it. Not at the same time. We cannot understand it actually, guys. Okay. Simple to understand. Append is going to be nothing but easy to understand it actually, guys. Append is going to be takes an input as an element. What is that append will do actually, guys? Just it is going to appends the element. It is going to appends the element to the end of the list actually, guys. 
to the end of the list actually it is going to be appends that particular element to the end of the list if list is already having five elements the new element will be appended only at the sixth you know already know what is appending append mode actually guys you cannot add wherever you want to add it we cannot add wherever you want to add it actually guys it will be added only at the end of the existing elements only it will be added and one more important thing i told you guys most of the methods won't return anything like for example talk about a clear method guys when you said clear it won't return any output whether it is cleared whether it is not cleared it won't return anything to you if you want to verify whether it is cleared or not we have to go to the list and we have to verify that then only we'll come to know that okay these elements has been got cleared from the list count is going to return some element actually guys count is going to return an element to you yeah i'll i'll explain it then okay fine i'll explain it so the pop and remove is going to be nothing but uh, if you don't mind if you don't mind uh, who is that participant name right uh, mrudula right just give me a second yes i think mrudula right yeah mrudula uh, do you have the um, idea about the basics of python do you know about the list you have the list okay so um like uh, do you know the indexes so see simple example it is 10 20 30 40 50 okay so you know the indexes no this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 is the indexes actually okay pop is basically pop is a method which is basically used to remove the element based on the index so if i say pop 2 it will remove this 30 and it is going to return so it will return 30 as an output to you it's not giving the element guys it is removing and returning the values so 30 will be popped out it will be sent out so pop is basically used to remove based on the index remove is nothing but i cannot say remove is completely based on the value if i say remove 2 it won't remove actually guys remove 40 then 40 is going to be removed from that particular list actually indexed based and value based yes it's a base remove is based on the value based it's a value based whatever the value we have been given the value will be removed so your question is like if 40 is there for multiple times then what what will happen actually only the first occurrence of 40 will be removed but not all the 40s got it right fine <clears throat> okay thank you fine thank you guys so that is about the pop and the remove method okay appends the element to the end of the list and coming to the returning value count will return some value to you guys i'll i'll conclude all the topics guys i'll conclude all the topics actually count will return pop also returns actually guys pop also will return you the value which value it has been got removed it will return it actually guys but clear and remove won't return anything to you not not only the clear and remove guys even append also won't return anything guys no return extend won't return insert won't return sort won't return none of the most of the methods they don't return anything you guys if you want to really know whether that action has been taken place or not you ask it for appending you ask it to append some element so the element is appended but it won't tell you any information i suck i i appended i didn't appended it's an error nothing it is going to tell you if there is any problem it will tell you that there is an problem is there but in the case if there is no problem it simply sits silently guys the method will sit silently they don't intimate anything to you so i have been done i didn't done anything it won't tell you anything if you want to really check out whether that action was done or not you have to go to the list and we have to verify it actually yes this is appended this is not appended something like this actually guys so very simple technique actually guys take some list take some list actually guys i said x is equivalent to nothing but i said some elements so easy to understand i'm taking a sequence of elements guys apart from that nothing is there so what is the length of the x what is the type of the x length is 5 and type is going to be x which is going to be class list which is going to be nothing but it's a class list actually guys now i'm appending actually guys x dot append everything is documented actually guys everything is documented so guys it is autom auto automatically showing you like which is going to be object append the object to the end of the list if i said 60 actually guys 
it is automatically appended the 60 but see don't expect that sir we will get the string as the list as an output with that particular appended 60 no it won't give any output guys if you see the output you can see the result actually then only you can see the result actually guys it won't return anything whether i appended i didn't appended nothing it will tell you in some situation we don't know whether it is done or not done so we have to verify it really it has been got done or not see the difference but type won't change actually guys type of the x is going to be still a list only what is the length also is going to be nothing but it is going to be six very clear guys earlier it was five and now it is going to be nothing but it is going to be six actually guys that is what we can see as of this particular difference we can find it what the point guys so it will always append only at the end of the list you cannot append wherever you want to append it actually guys so I want to append it to the first index or if I want to append it the second index that is not possible that is not possible actually as by using append method if you want to do that we have other technique is there again I'm going to do the same thing actually guys let us say which is going to be x dot append of I said 70 actually where it is appended don't think that it will append always alphabetically guys no alphabetical order it will append actually or it is not only in ascending order only so like zero is going to be appended at the beginning eight is appended at the last it won't do like this actually guys whether the data is sequential or random does not matter append is always going to append the element only at the end of the existing list not at the beginning or not at the middle of the list actually guys can you see zero has been appended at the last actual the length has been increased i think now it has been became eight uh, length of the x has been became eight actually guys because we had a two elements after the 70 so 70 is appended and then zero is appended two elements we added no after 60 so it has been became eight elements total it has been became if so you can add up the elements you can remove the elements whatever you want guys you can do it actually okay now <clears throat> so next explain next let me explain about this particular method called as an insert method so maybe uh, you understood that append method actually guys but some methods may be a little bit confusion for the guys who has been joined for the today's class because you may not be having about any idea about indexes but nowadays guys everybody is learning python everyone is having a little bit core concepts of python may not be having a complete knowledge about the python but nowadays i can expect that whoever is learning whether they're learning java dotnet etc first of all they're learning python actually guys so I don't think so. You guys may be having some difficulty in learning Python actually, but you can, uh, so maybe some guys may not have the complete idea about that, but still they can understand this particular concepts actually. So now I have a method called as an insert method is there actually guys. I'm explaining insert method, not the extend method. Let me explain with the insert method. What is the insert method will do actually guys. Insert and append is the same, same, same only. But only the thing is, insert is a method which allows you to add the element wherever you want. That means it will take two arguments actually guys. One is going to be the index it will take and it is going to be add the element actually. What is the difference between append and insert actually guys? Append will append only at the end. Insert is going to be at the given index actually guys, at the given index. So what is insert is going to do is actually guys insert is going to insert the element inserts the element which is going to be at the given index at the given index actually guys for example we have already have for example x is 10 20 30 40 50 for example now i said let us say x equals to guys if i said x dot i said insert for example if i said 2 comma 60 actually guys one important thing actually guys 2 comma 60 means it is 0 1 2 3 4 now don't think that that 20 will be replaced by 60 actually guys it's not replacing here before this 2 index that means at the second index it is going to be inserting 60 actually guys you are not replacing then what happens we know that actually guys if this becomes 2 this becomes 3 this becomes 4 this becomes 5 actually so wherever you want to add we can add it actually guys we are not replacing you are not replacing the second index with 40 x 60 actually guys before the second index you are adding 60 
That means the previous second index will become third index before third index is going to become the fourth index. And before the fourth index, whatever the earlier fourth index is there, now it will become the fifth index actually. Yes. That is what we are going to call it as this technique, what we are going to call it as in the insert method actually. Once again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Length of the X, which we can see five actually, guys. I said X dot, which is going to be insert of something like, can you see guys? Everything is going to be given the help actually, guys. Insert the object before the index. If I set two comma, which is going to be nothing, but it is 60. That means before the second index, it will insert the 60 actually. Who is the second index? We know this actually, guys. 10, 20, 30, 30 is the second index. So before the 30, the 60 is going to be appended actually, guys. Again, this is also nothing, but it's a lazy fellow. So it's a lazy fellow actually, guys. It won't tell you anything what has been happened. If you want to see, you say X. You can see the data like this, guys. 10, 20. If it uh, didn't replace the 30 actually, guys. 30, 40, 50 is there as usually. Before the 30, it has been added the 60. If I say what is the length of the X, now you can see that it has been became, which is going to be nothing but 6 actually. Anywhere, guys, anywhere you can append actually, guys. X dot insert of, which is going to be nothing but 0, comma, which is going to be 70. Before the 0 index, it will be appended actually. So insert will allows you to append the element wherever you want to append. X, extend the insert is a, sorry, the append is a method which allows you to append it even in, at the end of the positions, end of the existing list. Insert will allows you to append or insert the given element at the whatever the index you require it actually guys. That is the difference between the insert and the extend method what we have to understand it. That's it actually guys. Slowly, guys, slowly, if you do the practice, sorry. slowly, if you do the practice, guys, you can understand the techniques actually. Very simple concepts. Python is not a complicated work to understand. It's a very simple actions, a simple concepts only, which we can work in an easiest way. We can understand it actually. Very easiest way we can understand it actually, guys. Really, we don't require, <clears throat> really, we don't require to work more about this particular concepts actually, guys. A very simple techniques, which sl very slowly you have to understand it, guys. Slowly, if you start working with them, that's why in initial classes also, I don't take too much time actually, guys. Hardly 45 minutes, 50 minutes, maximum one hour will take the session actually. Because all these are going to be some kind of a beginning topics actually, guys. They are going to be a kind of a beginning topics actually. That is the reason why generally what we are going to do is, which is going to be a very simple applications only we are going to be gets working with them. Okay. So that is an idea of how we are going to be gets working with the insert method. Now there is a something called as an extend method is there actually guys, a little bit complicated to understand little bit complicated means I can explain in a different way, but the concept is slightly different actually guys. The concept is going to be slightly different actually, but try to understand in an easy way later I'll connect the things actually. Later, I'll connect the things actually, guys. In an easy way to understand, observe the trick actually, guys. For example, easy to understand. Let me take 10, 20, 30, 40 actually, guys. You can see what is X actually. I'll connect the things actually, guys. X dot append of, I said, which is going to be 50 comma 60 actually, guys. Observe carefully, guys. I'm not appending a single element. I'm appending 50 comma 60 actually, guys. When I'm appending a 50 comma 60, so I'm ex you can you may expect that sir I'm adding two elements actually. So 50 is one element, 60 is one element. No guys, 50 and 60 both of them has been appended as a one element only. It is going to be appended as a one element actually guys. Sorry, sorry guys. It may be x dot append of yeah, x dot append of. I said which is 50 comma 60 actually. Let me append it actually guys. Once if you see the X, previously X is containing only four elements, guys. Now I added two elements actually, but two elements has been not added individually, guys. 50, 60 is come and added as a one element only. So if you see what is the length of the X, it won't show you six actually, guys. It will show you as a five. How it is possible? This is how it has been appended actually, guys. This is how it has been got appended. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. 
sir you said that list is a collection of only values no list is not a only collection of values i'll tell you guys collection of objects it list is actually collection of objects actually guys so the guys who has been already joined um, the joined earlier you got a little bit idea about object but some guys who has been joined today they may not have the idea you may not have the idea about objects but don't worry but keep in mind like whenever we are appending a list of values like that they will not be added as individual values guys they will be added again as a list actually this is nothing but a list of list actually guys a list inside a list this is list actually guys if i for example if i said x of minus 1 you are not going to get the last element actually as 60 we will get the result as 50 comma 60 actually guys that means you are totally getting like a list only we are going to be getting the output that is x of minus 1 that is nothing but x of minus 1 don't worry guys i'll share you those particular details and all these things so once again i'm showing you guys x dot if i said pop the last element will be removed last element means not 60 guys 50 comma 60 is going to be one element actually now see the difference guys when i said x dot extend actually guys why you don't understand this concept because it is it is see the difference clearly guys when i said insert and append whenever i said append the input is an object whenever i said x dot insert that also is going to be nothing but it is an object but whenever i said it is an extend it is going to be nothing but what we are going to call it as iterables what is iterable for the timing leave in guys i'll again come back and explain i told you know i'll connect all the things one after the another will connect the things because all at a time you cannot understand it actually guys that is going to be what i call it as an x dot extend actually it is an x dot extend actually guys forget about the iterable but one thing you can find in guys extend the list by appending the element from the iterable that means the difference between extend and an append method is if you append a list like this total list is appending to the x actually but whenever i said extend it is not going to be appended as an it is not going to be adding this as an object what it will do is it will append the individual elements actually guys that means 50 separate 60 separate actually same thing i'll do it actually guys 50 comma 60 i'm appending actually guys now what you can find it of actually guys it won't append the 50 and 60 as a single element like this actually guys 50 separate and 60 separately it will append it you can find what is the length of the x previously the length of the x is 4 guys but now the length of the x is not 5 it is going to be nothing but it is going to becomes 6 is the result what it is going to becomes actually because it is not adding the total elements actually guys not it's not adding the total elements as a single object each object has been appended individually which is 50 comma 60 actually so that is the difference between the extend insert and append actually guys right now you don't know what is iterable but in our coming classes i'll explain like what is meaning of an iterable then again i'll come back and i'll explain this particular concept guys so you can see it guys we are extending the list by appending not the elements to the list it is element from the iterable to the list actually so whenever we appended a list of elements it is appending as a list only in insert method and in the append method but in the extend method even if i give a list of values also they are appending as an individual values rather than a single object actually guys so totally we have been got discussed about and another three more methods so totally we covered about seven methods actually guys apart from copy apart from copy it is going to be seven methods actually guys right clear count pop remove clear and count pop and remove are basically used for removing the elements append extend and insert are going to be used for appending the elements count is only for counting the elements actually guys so seven plus count is anyhow it is going to be eight there are another three more methods actually guys very simple methods one is an index is there the other one is going to be sort is there and there is going to be reverse is there actually guys only three methods are there so tomorrow we'll discuss about that and then i'll start with the next object called as an tuple okay tuple is very easy guys to understand the tuple and list same like a list only tuple will be existing so after that i'll plan actually guys don't worry because some new batch new people has been joined and we don't know whether they really join the sessions or not so i'll see for a couple of classes 
if more number of new people has been joined i'll arrange a backup session guys okay so depending on the number of participants i'll decide it i'll decide it in a couple of days so guys who has been joined for the today's class don't worry about the backup classes we'll give you the recordings or i'll take a backup session if it is required everything i will i will put everybody on the same page and then we'll start with the regular classes guys okay so that's it uh, that's it for the today's class guys um, guys anyhow some people has been joined for the today's class now if you have any questions uh, i can i can spend the time guys 15 20 minutes i can spend it no problem if you have any questions guys either you can unmute yourself and you can speak or you can have a chat panel you can see that uh, you can type in the chat panel yes uday uh, yes like it's not related to this like uh, we okay. are working on a project sir okay 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 in which you my ma'am explained me that like um, she had written a code for some mm. some aiml project sir okay okay Everything okay mm -hmm. what difficulty we are facing is uh, we are unable to upload it into the client's uh, systems are like it is basically a us and uk based company okay okay so, it's working perfectly in our systems, but we are unable to connect to the client. We even tried like by using VPN, sir. Okay, okay. We are unable, like, where okay. might be the issue? <laughs> I unless and until I can't see the code and all these things, I can't say it. You no, know, like what libraries you are using, what type of uh, VPN connections you are using, where you are trying to shift that particular data. So if you have any uh, problem, you can just connect one to one session one on one we can connect it and then i can if you can if you have any option to show your code or you can explain that then i can go for then i can explain you like what could be the problem actually sure sir i'm sorry okay so you have my number right no sir no i'll ping you my number just if you have any questions personally you can just ping it to my number i'll ping you my number sure sir. okay yes his name is uday no i think two yes, days are there actually uh what is his name uday right okay okay i'll do it okay. thank you Right, guys. Um, anyone, guys, if you have any questions? Yep, yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, I'm sharing with all of you guys. Um, you can just take on my number. So this is my number, actually, guys. 800 It's my number. Yep. So if you have any questions, guys, you can just feel free to discuss with me now, or you can call me. You can message me on the WhatsApp or Telegram. We have both telegrams and whatsapps are there or you can call me and you can discuss with me anyone guys any questions <clears throat> uh, yeah yes yes telegram group was not yet created right now okay. telegram group was not yet created we'll create it in a just couple of days we'll create that everything is ready just only thing is we have to share because new guys has been joined for today so uh, we want to just um, just make it within one or two uh, sessions we'll just close up the sessions and then we'll start up sharing that particular all the all the things actually thank you okay fine yes guys anyone who has been joined for the today's class if you have any questions yeah hi vamshi yes, this is yeah. manohar here yeah i'm manohar yeah yeah I have one question. Like yes, at yes. the end, at the end of this uh, course, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, we're going to get any kind of you know uh, a practical kind of uh, use yes. cases. Uh, yes, yes. Every see, it's not only at the end of the course. Your data science itself is going to be like an. Uh, um, uh, it's a kind of an uh, practical implementation. Only it's not like a theoretical concepts. So every example will do with some kind of a real data sets. Only we are going to do with that. So every example, every algorithm is going to be a kind of a use case only. So uh, it's not like uh, we don't work with something like a small, small data sets. We don't work because all of our data analytics and all the data science requires a real data sets we require. I can say that every example we'll see is going to be a use case actually. Like I can just show you some data sets which we are going to work with them. See, all these are the data sets which we are going to work with them. It's not like a dummy data. That means we are not creating the data i am not creating this data manually it's a real data set actually so it's this is not a real data set maybe but you can see some kind of a data set. Uh, that is going to be something but you can see some kind of a real data sets we can work with them actually these are all stock prices of the various companies from different different dates you can see that particular data actually so every example we'll see is going to be use case it's i think 
you are asking about something like a project uh, do you mean to say uh, do you mean to say that at the end of the course we want to have a project or uh, are talking no, about use cases same, use case yeah. use cases every yeah. example is a use case every algorithm is a use case only we do it actually okay okay fine right yes yes um, we'll get a course completion certificate uh, roy uh, from durga soft uh, you will be getting a course completion certificate but uh, one suggestion i can give you is uh, i was only a consultant trainer no so just you get some confirmation from durga soft people also but even so many earlier also so many people asked me the same question uh, but durga soft as part of the basic information from durga soft guys uh, they will be giving some kind of a course completion certificate but please confirm it one more side from my back end team also okay <clears throat> and if we go with this you know the training uh, data mm. science uh, yes, yes. are we able to uh, get through you know the certification absolutely like absolutely absolutely yes absolutely absolutely we can uh, we can do it actually because see whatever the course curriculum which i am going to follow is almost all um, in parallel with the microsoft recommendation or um it's a going to be some kind of an uh, uh, the certification oriented program only and even myself uh, i was certified from triple it hyderabad so like whatever the course curriculum they design what are the course curriculum with parallel to the microsoft or any um, um like any other certification program like aws or amazon we have it actually guys we have from different certifications so in parallel with those um, programs only uh, my course curriculum is also going to be gets designed so if you want the two things either you can for an interview uh, perspective or a job oriented like interview perspective as well as even if you want to clear anything like an which is going to be certification programs you can also clear that particular certification programs okay yeah okay fine right guys any more guys okay so we'll do one thing guys uh, thanks for attending the session for today it's a little bit late night class so everybody is going to be uh, get tired uh, after your work and all these things but uh, spare some time guys and spend some time um, just not not only attending the trainings just we have to go through all the practice and all these things we have to do that so guys um, i'll see you tomorrow uh, same time at 9:30 pm uh, please join by 9:30 i'll start 9:30 9:30 we'll start the session uh, i'll see you tomorrow please attend 3 to 4 classes actually guys then um, i can take a backup session if you feel that if you really feel that there is a backup session is required i'll guide you through that actually guys okay so thanks for all of you guys and uh, good night guys all of you thank you thank you guys right bye Hi, um, good evening, all of you guys. Uh, hope all of you can hear me. So good evening. Sir. Yeah, good evening. Right, guys. So, guys, um, let's continue from the the last session, guys. Just give me a second. Yeah. So, guys, um, in the last session, we have been started with uh, something about the uh, the list. Uh, what is actually a list? We have been got discussed. Uh, list is going to be nothing but it's going to be what we are going to call it as an a mutable object. What we are going to call it as actually, guys. Okay, so list is going to be a kind of an mutable object. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Just a minute once, uh, guys. Uh, anyone has been joined for the today's class? Uh, today is your first class. Is anyone is there, guys? I think I can see some names. Yes, Syed. I think yeah. today I have joined the first class, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, 
uh, have you um, have you attended any workshops of mine uh not yet this is not first yet. one first person okay okay any others guys chiraksha i think i can see some name venkat so that i can just tell you guys like what has been happened i can just tell you about that oh hi vamshi this yes, is I... venkat i have been attending your classes from the beginning beginning okay okay fine okay uh -huh. oh oh venkat means uh, we have venkat from optum venkat from oh ho oh, oh, ho okay 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 from us okay okay from us <laughs> right okay yeah. fine okay uh fine guys okay so guys um, if anybody has been joined for the today's class um, just let me explain guys uh, we have just uh, started um, a couple of uh, weeks before uh, just a, a part of introduction was happened and it's an only introduction part only as i already told you that i'm going to take a backup session for the people who has been joined lately because uh, more number of people has been got joined lately so i'll take a backup session and apart from that i started with the basics of python only guys so if you really already have an idea about python you can understand it but no worries just we can understand the things guys because python is a very easy and simple language to learn uh, don't worry about the whatever the classes you have been got missed so either you will be getting a recorded videos or i'll take up a backup session depending on your requirement guys okay fine so guys we have been started with something called as a list uh, which is going to be what we discussed about is list is nothing but a mutable object actually guys uh, what is this term called as a mutable mutable is nothing but what we are going to call it as an which can be modified which we can modify actually guys so today we created a list we can add up some elements what is first of all list actually guys a mutable object which is going to be gets contains a collection of some kind of an it is going to be some kind of an heterogeneous values actually guys it is going to be heterogeneous data or heterogeneous elements what we can say about that so uh, how to create a list also we have been got discussed so repeating almost all from 3 4 days we are repeating all the basics so list is created just by enclosing the values within the square brackets actually guys and which can be modified we can add the elements we can remove the elements whatever you want we can do it actually and we are currently discussing about what are the methods associated with the list actually guys method is nothing but it's a kind of a function which is associated only with that particular object it's a concept of object oriented programming guys so the methods are going to be i told you some methods like some of the methods which are used to remove the elements actually guys once again quickly clear yesterday we have already discussed about that remove and it is going to be pop actually guys so clear will remove all the elements remove will remove only the required required value and that to only the first occurrence only pop is basically based on the index actually if you want to add the elements actually guys yesterday we discussed about three methods we have been got discussed one is going to be we have been seen about uh, about the append method and apart from that we have been seen about the insert and we have been seen about an extend method actually guys append and insert is almost all the similar with a slight difference actually guys the difference is append will add the elements only at the last insert is going to be at the required index before the index we can add up them actually i told you the difference between extend and the append method slightly difference actually guys extend is basically used to append individual elements whereas the append is going to be appends which is going to be all the elements at a time actually slowly we will we'll study we already studied about those particular applications for example if i say x is equals to 10 20 30 40 for example i told you the difference actually guys when i said x dot append of which is going to be if i said 50 comma 60 we cannot append 50 comma 60 individually guys if i append the 50 comma 60 then the result is going to be something like this guys 10 20 30 40 it won't append 50 and 60 as an individual values actually this is how it is going to be gets appended actually a list inside a list will be appended same example if i said extend method actually guys if a same example if i extend method by using 50 comma 60 then there are going to be individually they will be appended actually guys individually means the result is going to be 10 20 30 which is 40 50 and 60 actually guys because right now you don't know what is meaning of an iterable concept actually actually this extend is going to takes an input as an an iterable object right now we don't know what is an iterable object 
for the timing skip some points actually guys slowly we'll add up the things actually so clear remove pop is already discussed append and extend and uh, ex the uh, append extend and which is inside we have been discussed and already we discussed about a method what we are going to call it as an account method count is basically used to count how many times a particular value appeared in the list actually so how many times I, a value is existing in a list if you want to count in simply the list dot which is going to be a count and give the value whatever the value you want to count how many times this value occurred in the list it is going to tell you three times four times zero times if it is not there we are going to get a zero value actually yes okay so quickly guys just a quickly two minutes i'll just complete off that so this is going to be the ideal i'm opening here where the i'm going to write all the python script and the python code what i'm going to be writing it actually guys <clears throat> So who has been guys, once again, who has been joined lately? So don't worry, um, I will uh, uh, take a backup session uh, to cover all the previous topics what we have been already have been lost. Okay, have a look at this one technique guys. Otherwise we'll be sharing the backup sessions. Uh, the videos will be there. Now it is, everybody is doing the same thing guys. They were share, sharing the video files, uh, the recording videos so that you can, uh, you can just go through the videos and we can cover the previous topics. No worries, I'm going to take a backup session for that. Okay, have a look at this one, guys. X is equivalent to nothing but it is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is going to be the elements what I have what I have been added actually. X dot append of if I set 50, comma 60, it is not going to be appending the 50 and 60 individually, actually, guys. You can see 50 and 60 has been appended like this actually. Now I said X dot append off, which is going to sorry, if I said extend off. If I said extend off, which is going to be the same technique like 50 comma 16, they are not appended as a single element actually, guys. They are not appended as a single element. 50 separately, 60 separately, it has been appended. So if you append like that, it is going to be what we call it as an append. If you append like that, this is what we are going to call it as extend. What about the insert also actually, guys? Insert is also going to be appends at the given single element only. But we have to specify where you want to append it actually, guys. For example, if I said two comma, it is going to be 50 comma 60, then automatically 50 comma 60 will be appended as a single element before the second index, it is going to be appended actually, guys. That is what is going to be happening. Yes, Manohar, yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Amshi, uh, in this extend method, mm -hmm. uh, it should follow a particular format, like, you know, 50 comma 60, or it can be any like 50 plus 60 or something, like how it is going to treat in that case. 50 plus? 50 plus 60. It's an addition. It will become an addition operation. No, no it should be always separated with comma something. It's a separate side. with the commas only. Okay. It is separated with the commas only. For example, if I said this is the value, for example, if I said x dot extend off, for example, if I said, as you're saying that it is going to be 50, um, okay, space. Uh, 50 space. Space no, 60. No, no, no. It, won't, it won't be. It won't be taken actually because uh, it's going to be something like an. Uh, okay. Uh, can you see? Perhaps you forgot a comma actually because it yeah. won't accept that actually. Okay, okay. If I do fifty plus sixty, it will it will work actually. But it is going to be works as an addition operator. It is going to becomes actually. It appended, but it appended the result of fifty plus sixty as a one ten is the result. It appended actually. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fine. Right. Right, guys. So this is going to be uh, the one of the thing what we can do it actually, guys. Now, uh, up to now, whatever the methods we have been seeing, guys, like insert, append, extend, clear, remove, pop, all these are very, very simple methods, actually, guys. Anybody can just learn it, actually. Now, it's not a complicated function, but compare with the previous function, the next function which I'm going to discuss is a little bit complicated work, actually, guys. little bit complicated. That is going to be nothing but let me do one thing guys. I have some X is going to be there, which is having some elements like 10, 20, 30, 40, just an example, 40, 50, 60, let us say 70, 80, 90, actually this 80, 90, 100, for example, total I take 100 elements, sorry, 10 elements. Now what I said actually guys, X dot index, the method name is going to be guys, it is an index method actually guys. What is this index method will do actually guys? Index method is going to tell you the difference between count and index is count will tell you how many times that particular value has been occurred. 
the number of times the value is acted. Index is going to tell you where that particular value has been found, at which index I have been found actually. Like for example, if I said which is going to be, I said for example, guys, 50. You know the index now, guys, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So obviously it is going to tell you, it, it is not telling you where is the 50, how many times 50 is available. It is going to tell you like it which index I have find at the 50 actually. Obviously, we'll expect the answer as, which is going to be nothing but it's a four. But sir, as you said that, um, sir, as you said that it is a little bit complicated. What is the complexity of this actually, I guess? That is, you can, spe you can specify in between which two indexes I want to search actually, guess. By default, if I don't specify, it will try to search directly starting the searching from zero and goes up to the last actually. One more thing is, it will only tell you about the first occurrence only. Even 50 is there for one more time. It does not gives you all the occurrences of 50. Only the index of the first occurrence of the given value only, it will find it off. But what is the extra thing we are having here is, where to start your searching also we can specify this. For example, if I said 0, 4, for example, guess, or 0, 3, for example, then what it is going to do is, guys, you know what is 0, 3, guys? 0 means starting. 3 means which is going to be stopping. And throughout the Python, we discussed actually, guys, this is going to be not included. This is excluded, guys. That means it is going to check only the indexes between 0, 1, and 2. Sorry, 0, 1, and 2 only it will search. It won't search for the third index actually, guys. That means in between these three indexes only, it will search out where is the 50 is going to be there. Being the 50 was not there, it is going to throw an error actually, guys. If it is not there, it is going to throw the error actually. So by default, if I don't specify anything, it will start with the first index and goes up to the last index. Wherever the given value is there, it will tell you the index. But there is an extra option is there where to start your searching. For example, if I say actually the 50 is there at the fourth index actually. Yes. For example, if I say I want to start searching from fifth index actually. So it will start searching from the fifth index. It will find out. Do you find the 50 in the next elements? No, you will get an error actually. If it is there, it is going to give you the value actually. Yes. Okay. So it's a little bit a complicated way because it is going to be taking totally three parameters actually. Yes. It's taking three parameters, it is taking it actually, guys. Up to now, we have been seen. Clear does not take any parameters, guys. No arguments, it will take it. Remove and pop is going to take one argument actually, guys. Remove will take one argument. Pop also will take only one argument only. Next one. Append is also going to take one argument only. Uh, and insert is going to take two arguments actually, guys. Index and the object. And even the extend is also going to be tells you takes only one argument only it will take it, which is an iterable object. But whenever we talk about a count, count also returns takes only one, one input only, which is nothing but a value it is taking. But see the index actually, guys. Index will take three arguments, guys. Value, whatever the value you want to return, what, whatever the value you want to search. Return the first index of the given value. <clears throat> Wherever it finds the index, it is going to tell you actually, guys. Starting is going to be zero. See the stopping actually, guys. A very, 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 very large number actually, guys. A very large number. If I don't specify, it will start with zero and goes up to the last element. Almost all, a very huge number. It is taking it actually, guys. Now let us talk about x dot index of I want to search for forty actually, guys. Where is the forty? Is there in between zero to the last element? It will start with zero and goes up to the last element. Index is going to be nothing but it's a fourth element. We know that index is three actually, yes. Your index is going to be three actually. But if I said X not index of 40, I said that I want to search only between zero and let us say that only the third index only. Third is not included actually, yes. When I said zero comma three, it only search for zero, one and two only. In this particular three elements is the 40 is there. We are asking. Please find out the index of 40 in between 0 to 3. I didn't find any such kind of a 40 there. You are going to get an error actually. 40 is there in the list. 40 is there in the list, but it is not existing in between the 0 to 3. 3 is not included. We know this actually, guys. Really, if 3 is included, we have to get the 3 as the result because 30 is there. Sorry, 40 is there in the third index actually. If you want, you can take a little bit more numbers. 
let us say this actually guys let us just an example x is equal to nothing but 20 34 12 45 67 <clears throat> 25 and it is a 10 and it is a 2 and it is a 3 let us say 40 and let us say 96 and let us say 72 some random numbers only i'm i'm going to be taking it actually guys i'm taking some kind of a random numbers only i have been got taken actually let us say something like n 78 or something like a 75 or 74 i have been got taken just an example i'm talking about that i know that in that the least value is two guys let us say that the least marks let us say these are the marks of the students guys <coughs> sorry these are the marks of the students now i know that least value is going to be two and the highest value is going to be 96 actually guys highest value is 96 isn't it now i want to know which index has got the least value two and which index has got the highest value which is going to be 96 actually guys a simple process x dot which is going to be the index of two it is going to tells you so at which index it is going to be there seventh index means it is the eighth element actually guys seventh index is nothing but it's an eighth element in the list actually and where is the highest value of which is going to be 96 actually guys so it is going to tell you that it is going to be at the 10th index actually it is going to be in the 10th index actually for example if i said x dot index of 2 but i don't want to go for all the elements i want to check for from the eighth element do you have any two is there i'm asking the starting index at eight actually guys start from the eight go up to the remaining elements and tell me do you find that particular two no i didn't find that particular two in the list i said x dot append of two actually guys you can append the elements no guys now there is two is there for second time actually guys now you ask x dot index of eight two comma eight so this is zero one two three four five six seven eight guys it will start from here and it tries to find out where is the two is there as the guys so two was found in the last index actually so i don't know how many elements are there but if you count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 14 15 16 17 guys so it is going to be there at the 17th element which is going to be the index is going to be nothing but 16 is the index actually that index is going to be same as it is guys i'm not saying that start from the eighth index count it like zero one two three i'm not counting it actually guys counting is from zero only but i'm starting session from the eighth index actually start from the eighth index do you find any occurrence of two Yes, I find that the occurrence of two here, which is going to be nothing but the 16th index actually, guys. For example, if I do the same thing by writing x dot index of two comma, which is going to be I said eight comma 15 actually, guys. Eight comma 15 means we know that in between eight and 15th index only it will find it off actually, guys. I know that this is eight. 15 means 15 is not included, guys. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Only in these particular six or seven elements only it is going to check for the two actually but two was not there then obviously we are going to be getting an error actually yes so x dot index will work with a single argument it can work with a single argument guys as well as even it can work with two arguments i think you may be having a little bit idea about this guys no worries in python we are having a discussion of functions concept when i discuss about the functions concept then i'm going to discuss completely about this arguments concept once again it works with two arguments as well as it can even works with which is going to be three arguments also it is going to work actually guys we can also write the third argument like 16 no so i'll write it as a 17 actually guys execute it is going to work but beyond that if you give you will get an error actually guys hope you all of you have an idea about that while you are calling the functions while you are calling the functions how many arguments we have been got defined only that many arguments only we have to use it anyhow as part of our course curriculum we are as part of the python discussions we are already having a discussion about the functions concept guys we look into the functions concept more and more we are going to look into them guys we look into the more into the functions concept okay so we have so a discussion if i want to find the value before index 8 i should use the negative indexing or is there any other way to mention it you want to check for uh, I want to find a value before uh, index 8, for example, between 1 to 8, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, you have yeah. to specify that actually. Okay, there is a technique is there. 
X dot index negative. is there. No, no, no. It's not negative index. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay. Actually, um, negative index means nothing but it will start only from the right hand side index only. See, if right. I say negative index, for example, if I said negative index of, for example, X dot index of two comma minus four, in that case, what it will do is minus four means minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. It will start check checking from here only. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. then the result is going to be obviously two is at the last only, which is going to be obviously we'll get the 16 is the result as usual. Okay. Got okay. It. That does not matter about that. It is going to be, for example, if you want to search before the eight means, then you say mm -hmm. that it is two comma zero comma eight. So before the eight only, okay. it is going to search for the index actually. Okay. Yeah. Then it, you are going to be getting seven because it is there at the seventh index before the eight only I want to check it out actually. But if you want to make it complex later, that means in the coming applications, we'll put it in a loops, we'll write some if conditions and then you can write an application section. In case right. if we give a range uh, between no, zero no. to eight. <laughs> no, 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 it won't it, work like that. It's an arguments are completely, uh, these, these functions, these methods scope is very uh, limited only. Whatever they define, they have to work like that only. Okay. If you want to do that, there is another techniques are there. That means, see, uh, in that cases, what we are going to do is first, we are going to do some kind of a slicing like this, actually. Okay, this is a concept of slicing concept. We are going to do that. This is actually a list only. Then you can find it off. For example, X of zero is to eight within this particular range dot. I can say the index of two actually. Now, what is an output will come actually? X of zero is to eight is going to be one list. So how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to be getting that is um, we are getting eight elements. Then obviously the index is going to be nothing but seven will be the result. For example, if I said eight is two, uh, maybe uh, if you have already attended slicing concept. So what is meaning of eight is two actually? Eight is two means starting from the eighth element, remaining elements will come actually. So in this case, if I said, which is going to be dot index of two, now it is going to be with respect to two. That means this index will be taken as zero now. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will become eighth index. It will become actually. So we have to use some combinations and we have to work with that application section. Yeah, I'm sure. My question is like, you know, if you have a duplicate, uh, you know, number like two, right? If mm -hmm. you have two occurrence, mm -hmm. so I'm going to get a two indexes at which place is actually. No, two. no. First one index only will come. Only first index, right? Only first okay. index only. That's why, see, you here also we have the second index is there. Two is there for two times, right? Correct. When I said X dot index of two, it always starts with the zero index and find out the first occurrence is going to be here, which is going to be at the seventh index. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the idea here is now you want to find the second occurrence. Then what you have to do? I know that the first occurrence of two is there at the sixth, seventh index actually. Then I'll start from the eighth index. I'm going to start with that. Then obviously I'll know I'll come to know about the second occurrence of this particular values. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Fine. Thank you. But these are all the basic things. So Python provides a lot of advantages. That means these concepts, we, if you really want to do that, you need not to do it like this only in a complicated way. In coming applications, we have a lot of techniques and a lot of implementations will come. You can use those particular things and we can do it actually. Okay, fine. Yes, uh, uh, right. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, hello. Uh, so, uh, is there any uh, predefined function to get that uh, maximum or minimum value? From yes, them? absolutely. We have it actually. So, directly we are having, see, we are directly having the kind of a functions actually. What is going to be the minimum of x, what we are going to be getting? What is the maximum of x is going to be there? So, you really don't require this actually. But, uh, things, guys, one thing I want to explain here is these list and all these things are the one of the basic structures of the python actually so how to do the manipulations on this particular list we don't recommend them actually because it's not guaranteed that a list will always contain always a numbers only sometimes it may contain some numbers some strings some bools and some floats it may contain different different values so you can do that but what i'm saying here is instead of using this min and max functions here in Python, we are having a very, very advanced level applications are there. Advanced level mathematical applications are there. Whenever we go there, we can do that kind of an applications. 
for the time being what is a list how to handle the list by using that particular method that that's it actually guys don't try to do any manipulations with the list like what is clear what is remove what is a pop how to append the elements uh, how to go for this particular extend all these are ideas only to make you understand how to use the methods actually guys actually we are using some i am explaining some methods actually guys out of that i may use only two or three methods only i am going to use maximum guys i'll use append method or extend method only these two i am going to use mostly remaining i don't use at all but why we are discussing here is this is my first object i am explaining so i have to explain each and every method that is associated with that whether there are used or not used that we discuss it later about that being it's my first example of a of a whatever the object in python remaining objects they don't have it actually guys this is the first object i am discussing about that that is the reason why i am explaining all that kind of a methods actually but you will understand why we are learning we'll get some clarity about that we'll understand the concept behind that so in coming classes it will become very easy for us if i discuss only one or two methods and leave it you don't get a practice on that actually that is the reason why i'm explaining this okay fine guys so once again guys what is going to be this index method is going to be do it is going to be nothing but dot index of which is going to be nothing but whatever the value and what is going to be the starting and what is going to be the stopping value actually guys so it is returning a value observe carefully guys i'm specifically pointing out i'm specifically pointing out actually guys which methods are returning which methods are not returning pop method will return a value back to you guys when you run a pop method some output will come but when you use the remove method no output will come when you execute a clear method no output will come even append insert extend also they don't give any outputs count will give you a output actually guys count is giving an output index is also going to be giving an output so out of the seven or eight methods or nine methods i discussed only two methods three methods are returning guys one is a pop is returning i'll conclude guys totally pop is returning count is returning and index is returning actually guys so what it is going to returns returns the which is going to be the index of the index of the value it is going to be the index of the value between which is going to be the starting and the stopping actually guys so i need not to explain every time throughout the python remember one thing guys wherever i am using start and stop start is always it is included it is inclusive and whereas the stop is going to be always it is an exclusive so whenever i said which is going to be 2 comma 8 meaning that is start from 2 and stop before the 8 throughout the python the concept is the same it does not changes from one application to another application throughout the python it is going to remains the same only guys so given value whatever the given value index is there it will try to find out but that to the first occurrence only guys for example same value is available for multiple times it won't return the indexes of all the values count is not like that for example count is there if the given value was not found it is going to return zero if the given value was not found it throws an error actually it throws an error actually guys the value was not found i'm going to raise as an error actually guys okay so this is going to be the next method what i can talk about a little bit a little bit complicated compare with the other methods actually guys now there are two methods are there which are going to be a very very simple methods actually guys one is going to be nothing but a method what we are going to call it as an reverse <clears throat> it's a very simple method actually guys the name itself is saying that what is reverse will do all the elements in the inside the list will be just simply reversed actually guys it will be very simply reversed no it's not sorting order actually guys it's not any sorting order left it uh, ascending to descending or descending order ascending order it won't do it actually guys for example i have a list is there some x is having a list like something like 2 6 18 24 4, for example 12 okay something like 6 and something like a 4 we have the elements guys now if i said what is going to be x dot reverse simply if i said x dot reverse you know what it is going to do is actually guys internally it won't take any arguments guys no inputs it will take it internally all the data is going to be reversed actually guys 4 6 12 24 18 and 6 and 2 actually guys 
but reverse also does not returns anything guys internally the elements will be sorted so not sorted it will be reversed but the outcome if you want to see whether the elements are reversed or not we have to print that particular value of x reverse does not returns anything internally it happens like this actually guys but if you want to see whether it is reversed or not you have to print the value of x actually guys it's a little bit confusion to most of you guys i'm saying that they don't return they will return because it is internally getting affected actually guys it's internally getting affected output we don't see anything that means when i write the x dot reverse don't expect that directly we'll get the output like this guys internally this happens nothing output will come whether it is really reversed or didn't reverse nobody knows about that if you want to see whether the reverse was done or not done then we have to print the value of x actually guys anyhow the guys who has been uh, already attended the previous classes we already see about the slicing concept actually guys sir if i want to reverse this elements i can do something like x of e2 e2 minus 1 actually guys don't worry guys who has been uh, joined recently so pre previous classes we know that so who has been joined earlier you know what is the meaning of x of e2 e2 minus 1 actually guys what is meaning of x of e2 e2 minus 1 the elements it is going to read from the reverse order by taking a step of minus 1 what is the difference between this one and this one is guys whenever i said x of e2 e2 minus 1 the elements are going to be read in the reverse order and the output is going to be displayed on the screen your output is going to be displayed on the screen actually guys but your actual x is not getting affected if i print the x value it is as usually print this value only guys but not this value actually so this is only we are just reading the data in the reverse order but your actual x is not getting affected but x dot reverse is what it is doing it is not just only returning the output it's not just only reversing the elements guys whatever the order whatever the element that has been reversed that will be again assigned back to the x that means the effect is on the x variable guys but not just like a slicing concept actually slicing means nothing but it only just displays the output on the screen but your actual array or the actual list is not going to be gets affected actually guys okay so just if you want to see the elements i can just show you guys x is equivalent to nothing but 4 10 let us say 12 8 for example 15 and some 24 and something like n 20 guys just an example not too many elements guys i can slice it like this actually guys hope you remembered guys what do you mean to say x of e2 e2 minus 1 means just it is going to read the elements in the reverse order actually guys you can see 20 24 15 8 12 4 10 and it is going to be 4 but what is this doing actually guys it is only reading the elements in the reverse order and it is displaying on the screen but your actual x is not affected your actual x will be as usually the same old elements only guys whatever i have given it has just reading the data in the reverse order but your actual x is not getting affected x will be remaining as same data only guys hope you understood the trick actually guys okay or in in another way if i want to explain this i can explain in another way actually guys in a programming language we have i equals to 10 when i said print the value of i plus 10 you know what will be the result actually guys i is 10 10 plus 10 is going to be 20 only but your actual i is not affected guys again if you say print the value of i you know that it will be printing the result as 10 only so this addition of 10 was done only for printing purpose but your actual i was not affected actually sir i want to affect that particular i i want to preserve that addition then you know what you have to do it actually guys i is equal to 10 you say i equals to i plus 10 and then print the value of i then we know that that 20 will be printed actually so the addition we are preserving back to the i actually guys so this is nothing but just like this concept only guys because we are just reading the elements in the reverse order and just displaying on the screen your actual x will not be affected x dot reverse is nothing but what you are trying to do guys whatever the result we have got you are again assigning this result back to the x itself actually guys so that is the meaning of this particular method called as a reverse so once if you do the reverse actually guys it will be directly affected on the list actually x dot reverse 
see the difference actually guys x dot which is going to be reverse it won't take any arguments guys and you can see very clearly reverse in place what is meaning of in place means in the place of the previous value of x the new value will come actually guys it will reverse the elements and that value will be replaced as the the previous value of the x in the place of the particular x actually guys but outcome we don't get it any output actually guys we don't get any output at all no output will come guys clearly we can see there is nothing output is coming actually guys now if you want to see whether really x is reversed or not you can just write which is going to be x actually guys can you see guys x has been completely modified just the elements has been reversed so a lot of difference is there between x of e to e to minus 1 it is going to be just reversing the elements and displaying on the screen but your actual the actual x is not getting affected but if i said something called as an x dot reverse now you can see that the complete elements has been got reversed actually guys so that is the difference between slightly confusions will be there guys in the beginning there is a little bit confusion but over the time period everything will be gets rectified actually guys this is what we are going to call it as yes we can write it but <laughs> in python there is a small um, a small issue is there actually guys um it, it's a small issue actually um i think roy uh, hope you already discussed about that like i think uh, i i remember that you are joining from the uh, beginning you already joined in the earlier classes also so x is equal to 10 so here you know that this x is called as an variable or an object what do you call this x actually will you call it as an object or will you call it as an uh, variable or an object what do you call it as uh, variable no in python everything is going to be treated as an object only okay mm -hmm. so what will happen here is that is actually i am going a little bit out of the box don't worry because even if you don't guys don't understand it also no worries so guys what will happen here is in a normal programming language when i said like this integer x equals to 10 you know what will happen actually guys some memory will be allocated the name of the variable is going to be x the, the memory is going to be referenced by x value will be 10 tell me guys when you say x equals to 10 what will happen can you tell me guys will it remove the existing x and creates a new x or only the value will be changed as generally in a normal programming language anyone guys if i said x equals to 20 what is going to happen now will it create a new variable or only the value will be changes only the the value will be changed only value will be the changes old object got Obviously. deleted it's it will be there only that means we know that the declaration is done only for one time so memory allocation is done only for one time only your existing x will not be removed your existing x will be there as it is only the value will be changes to 20 but coming to the python x is equal to 10 here x is an object actually guys x is an object actually guys so it is going to be referencing to some memory which is containing 10 when i said x is equal to 20 in an object oriented programming what it will do guys it will destroy this one and again creates a new one actually what the point guys just i'm telling about an idea just for an idea purpose i'm telling about that so as you are asking that when i said x is equal to why don't you write like this actually x is x is to is to minus one absolutely we can write it actually guys but what is happening here is it is going to create a new object is getting created so python is having one one of the main issue actually if you try to assign like that it is going to create a new object even in python actually guys if i said x equals to 10 x equals to 20 both are two different objects actually this will be destroyed and new object will come actually you may get a doubt sir how can i how can you say that actually how can you say that don't worry i'll actually i'll discuss this uh, actually we have this discussion in our class for the timing i'm just telling you guys x equals to 10 every object will have an id guys every object will be having one id when every object you create in python one id will be given actually guys can you see guys id of x is going to be ending with double five zero four now i said x is equivalent to 20 guys 
Now see what is going to happen actually. ID of X is going to be, this is going to be the ID actually. So what has been happened guys? It is completely the object was destroyed and new object has been got created guys. You can delete the object guys. I can delete the object. There is an option to delete an object actually guys. Same technique I'll show you guys. X is equal to, I said 10, 20, 30, 40, for example. Now, as you are saying that, okay, I'll say ID of X. Now I said X is equal to X of is to is to minus one. No doubt elements are reversed, but the main problem here is internally your object is changed. Internally, your complete object was changed actually, guys. Earlier, the object is ending with 7696. Now the object is going to be ending with 2400. But if I said X dot reverse actually, guys, what will happen internally here is object won't change us, guys. The internally, the elements will change us actually. Now see the X elements are reversed. ID of X is going to be remains the same object as it is. It is going to be reference. Don't worry, guys. Hope you, you got an idea about that. Like why I am not assigning to a particular variable. Got it, Roy? So why I'm not assigning the object like this because is internally the Python is having some memory problem actually. So it will create that object, destroys the object and again creating a new object. It will take more load. Why should I take that load actually? That's why we better to use the reverse method. Throughout the Python that the same technique I'll use it actually guys. Same techniques I'll use. If you ask any many, if you ask for any changes, I'll make the changes, but I don't preserve by assigning back to the variable. We'll be having some technique. I use it a word no guys in place. This word will be very, very frequently used in Python actually guys. Sorry, X dot when I'm using reverse, you can see one term called as an in place is there. This in place technique we are going to use very, very frequently in the Python actually. What is this option of in place will do is actually guys. Whatever the option you have been asked for or whatever the manipulation we have been asked for, that will be reflected and that will be affected on your actual object. It won't create any new object. The internally, the elements are going to be gets reversed actually, guys. That is what the reverse will do actually, guys. It's not any sorted order actually because the data was already in ascending order. So what we can find here is it is going to be something like it looks like ascending and descending order it is going to be looks like actually guys. But whenever the data is in a random order, you can see that it is going to be just a reverse actually guys. Internally, the elements are sorry. Internally, the elements are going to be gets reversed actually guys. Internally, the elements are going to be gets reversed. You can see 45, 25, 50, 20, 8, 10, 3, 6, 2. But I want to put it in a sorting order actually guys. Then what we have to do so reverse is only just reversing the elements. It is not returning any output guys. It won't return any output back to you. Same as it is, we are having a method called as an sort method is there actually guys. I covered all the methods actually guys. All the methods I have been covered except copy. You can see it actually guys. Copy also I can explain you, but you can't understand now itself. Append, clear, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, and the last one is going to be sort actually guys. Sort is going to take one simple option actually guys. Sorting you know this actually guys. Sorting also is going to be in place only. Just it is going to take some order actually guys, which is going to be nothing but simply I'm using a, term, a parameter called as reverse is equal to, which is going to be true or a false. You know what is meaning of true and what is meaning of false actually guys. Reverse is false means it is in ascending order. Reverse is equal to true means it is an ascending order actually guys. Sorry, sorry. Reverse is equals to true. Sorry guys. Reverse is equal to true meaning that it is a descending order. Reverse is equal to false meaning that it is an ascending order actually guys. Just one parameter it will take it. Reverse equals to true. Reverse equals to false. So we have a parameter actually guys. I can say reverse equals to I said false actually guys very clearly sort the list in ascending order and again return none. So I said reverse equals to false actually guys same procedure it won't return anything guys. It won't return anything output don't think that sir I didn't get any output in the sorted order. Sir I didn't get an output you don't get an output guys 
but your internal elements are going to be sorted order. You can see the difference. 2, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 25, 45, 50. So that is an idea about this particular sorting order actually. Guys. So once again, I'm doing, this is your X actually, guys. I want to do it in, I want to sort them in the descending order. So I say X dot sort. Simply you say reverse is equal to nothing, but you say which is going to be true actually, guys. What is meaning of reverse equals to true? The internally, the elements are going to be sorted in the reverse order. But sir, I didn't get any output. You don't get any output, guys. Internally, the elements are going to be sorted in the ascending order, sorry, descending order, and they will be again assigned back to the that particular object itself, actually. So these are going to be the techniques what we are going to be gets calling it as guys. So reverse and sort <clears throat> both won't return any output. Internally, the reversing will be done. Internally, the sorting will be done, actually, guys. So let me conclude the concepts totally, guys. Uh, why we are using the reverse word within that parenthesis? No, it's an argument. It's an argument, actually. Actually, can we just use like true or false? You can use it, but as of now, the C is uh, basically what we will do here is even I can use that. That is not that is not going to be a problem actually. But what is going to be happening here is can you see when uh, some kind of an error is coming actually takes no positional arguments. That means mm. um, as I told you okay. know, so we have a functions concept is there actually. So positional okay. arguments and keyword arguments. Okay. 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 Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. uh, see, when I said X dot sort of, I said something called as an reverse is equivalent to true. It has been got worked successfully without having any problem. Let us mm -hmm. do the same thing. <clears throat> X dot count of, can you see a parameter called as value is there? Can you see the value parameter is there? No, there is an argument called okay. as a value. Right, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. If I write value is equivalent to, for example, 10, I'll get an error mm -hmm. actually. So it is going to be a positional arguments and a keyword arguments concept is there in Python. Uh, that is going to be the, the whatever they defined is going to be like that. You have to define right, that. That's a syntax. That, oh, that is a syntax what we have to do. But anyhow, yeah. keyword argument, positional arguments, we'll discuss it actually. As I told you, know, we have a complete discussion of functions concept. On that day, we'll discuss about all these things actually. Right? Fine. Okay, Enjoy. coming to the discussion, guys. Finally, let us conclude the concept, guys. Like the functions, uh, the methods, what we have been got discussed. So all the methods, once again, I'll just read, write it down. Clear, which is going to be pop, and which is going to be remove. This basically three belongs to one category. Like which is going to be uh, append, and which is going to be something like an extend, and which is going to be insert extend and which is going to be insert is going to be uh, basically use it for one type of category uh, count and index is going to be one kind of a category actually guys because uh, both are not the same but counting is going to be counting number of times it occurred index is going to tell you about where is the given value is there and sort and reverse is going to be one method actually guys. both almost all same only but sorting is ascending descending order Reverse is only just reverse the elements only, independent of ascending, descending order. I didn't discuss about a copy method actually, guys. Leave this copy method. So finally, if I conclude the concept, guys, which methods returns, which method does not returns. Pop is going to returns a value, guys. Count is going to returns, extend will returns. Remaining no elements, no methods will return any output, guys. Clear won't return anything. And remove won't return anything. Append, extend, insert, obviously. Even sort and reverse also we have been seeing. Nothing is going to be written. But if you want to see whether they are cleared or not, whether they are appended or not, whether they have been reversed or not, we have to see the object and we have to conclude that. Yes, it is reversed. It is sorted. It is appended. It is extended. It is inserted. It is cleared and it is going to be removed. But pop is going to tell you what value I have been removed. Count is going to tell you what is a count. Index is going to tell you the index action. Yes. Okay. So that is going to be the one what we can observe carefully, guys. So this is going to be about the list methods, guys. Two minutes, guys. I'll just finish off it. The next object which we are going to discuss is an another object called as a tuple, guys. Tuple. List and tuple. Tuple is going to be a very quite similar to which is going to be list, guys. Very quite similar to list. Then what is the difference actually, guys? I told you the definition of a list. What is the definition of a list? I told you guys first initially, 
it's a mutable which we can modify what is tuple actually guys tuple is going to be similar to the list but which is going to be what we are going to call it as an an immutable object guys what do you mean to say an immutable guys immutable means which we cannot modify which we cannot modify guys that means once if you create a list we cannot modify further it's like a constant value guys how do you create a list which is going to be create a list sorry create a tuple how do you create a list enclosing in square brackets guys how do you create a tuple create a tuple by enclosing in no need to use any keyword like tuple or etc guys by enclosing in which is going to be parentheses guys simple guys if i put the values in a square brackets it becomes a list if i put the elements within a parentheses it is going to nothing but it becomes a tuple actually guys now i can just conclude the concept guys like what methods we can use what methods we cannot use it actually guys just let me conclude the concept guys same methods no difference in the methods actually guys but which methods will work on the tuples which method does not works on the tuples remember only one simple point guys tuple is not going to be gets editable you can't edit it so first of all clear come to the clear actually guys can anyone guess can you tell me will the clear will work on the tuple guys no no why because clear will try to remove the element from the tuple which is not possible next what about pop yeah i can run no pop, because pop, pop. pop is trying to remove the element no okay, okay so clear won't work pop won't work remove does not works what about extend append and uh, insert no no because we are trying to add some elements guys what about sort and reverse can it be done cannot be done yeah. no i think no no no, no. Yeah. because sort is not only just sorting the data and giving you guys internally the elements are getting modified actually so sort won't works and reverse won't work guys then only two methods will work guys what are the two methods will work is count and the index only those are the two methods it will works that's it guys only two reading is it. possible only reading only reading just counting how many elements are there and to find out that particular index is there so just two minutes guys i'll just finish off it so you can say which is going to be x is equal to just some elements same elements similar different whatever you want we can do it. what whatever you want you can give it i told you no guys it can be heterogeneous or homogeneous does not matter very simple guys i enclose it within parentheses guys print the value of x very clearly we can see the elements has been got enclosed within parentheses if you want to find out you can just find the type of the x previously when i said type the x it has been given that it is going to be a list but now we are going to be getting like an tuple actually guys now say x dot you see x dot actually guys once if you said x dot we have got only and only two methods actually guys i think i need not to show you but i can just show you the value actually guys x dot count of 10 x dot if i said index of 10 10 is there at the zero index actually guys but if i cannot say x dot append of 10 we'll get an error tuple does not have any such kind of an attribute called as an append x dot clear x dot which is going to be sort or x dot which is going to be append sorry x dot which is going to be something like a reverse all this method does not work actually guys they don't work at all x dot pop won't work x dot reverse sorry x dot remove won't work so they are not going to work actually guys why because it's very simple actually guys it is an immutable object but slicing indexing everything we can do it actually guys x of 0 but if i said x of 0 is equals to 100 you are trying to modify the value of 10 to 100 actually guys so tuple object does not support item assignment you cannot assign the value to that particular tuples so tuples and list are very very similar objects guys the only difference is going to be nothing but the list are going to be immutable whereas sorry list are going to be immutable and tuples are going to be nothing but there are immutable guys so tuple versus which is going to be list in python just you can go through any document that means as of now i'm talking about them guys if you want to learn you can just learn the things actually guys simple technique simple application what we can do so primary difference between tuples and list is the tuples are immutable as opposed to list which are going to be mutable actually guys therefore it is possible to change a list but not a tuple the content of the tuple cannot be changed once they have been got created in python 
due to immutability of the tuples actually simple okay so that is going to be about this particular object yes yeah is case anyone anyone having a question uh once like what yes. are like uh, some real time examples where we we'll use like <laughs> list versus tuples we'll okay. use we'll use it we'll use it see that's why i'm saying that today okay. see today mm -hmm. we are learning the concept like what concepts are there but in the in the okay. in the actual applications we'll see that but remember one thing we never use this tuple that means we never will use them it's very rare cases we'll use it actually guys yes. so i'll i'll tell you like where do you use this tuples and list is later whenever we are going to be working so same like how we are using see how we are using the methods and all these things we are using in our coming classes we are going to be using a different different functions we'll use this function i i'm going to be using a function this function is going to take an argument as a list what my point one of the argument of the function is a list or one of the argument of a function is going to be a set or one of the function argument is going to be dictionary i'm not saying that we don't use it but the scope is very limited usage only because in our data science we never want to write any logic but i'll show you them like where do you use it and why do you use it but most of the cases this whatever i am using list tuples etc we are going to be using them as an arguments of other functions we'll use it to understand that today we are discussing about that okay but, thank you okay but we'll discuss we'll discuss some practical examples on that right guys okay guys um okay so just for today we'll stop it here guys um uh, tomorrow uh, we are going to start with an, another new object called as and set actually guys tomorrow completely we'll work with the set object only set means something comes to your mind guys in mathematics we have a concepts called as sets and relations topic is there now guys so the same topic we are going to be working in the tomorrow's class with the help of a set object we'll discuss it actually guys sets and dictionaries two objects are there let me complete those two objects guys and then um, as i told you know so some people has been joined lately um, i'll take a backup session i'll plan for the backup session for those particular guys guys okay so yep it's easily understand everything is going to be easily we can understand it python guys python is not a programming language at all it's just an ideas uh, in coming classes we never think about python at all everything mm -hmm. is just a function we implement it actually okay <laughs> oh <laughs> right guys okay so fine guys uh, that's it for the today's class guys uh, anyone guys any questions if you have i can just spend some time and then you can go okay guys just for today's uh, stop it yeah yeah i'm sure like we're yes, going yes. to get any uh, you know uh materials to study like yes, no, yes. Like short yeah. materials yeah. No, no, you will be getting you will be getting uh, because uh, this batch was a little bit delayed actually uh, it is due to some um, a very few guys has been joined initially and then uh, um, uh, some more people has been got joined uh, so just give me a one or two days of time um, once uh, other guys also if they have been uh, if they confirm that they are continuing the classes then i'll start sharing the particular materials but don't worry because we are still in the beginnings only no we don't require that much practice but you can install the python and just we can start with the basics like basic practical applications we can try it as of now okay yeah. okay fine okay guys uh, thanks for today guys and uh, we'll meet up in the tomorrow's class guys good night all of you guys
Uh, hi, uh, good morning, all of you guys. I uh, hope all of you can hear me. Anyone, guys, uh, can you please confirm is a model, guys? Yes, sir. <clears throat> right, guys. So, guys, um, let's continue with the, the last session, guys. Let's continue with the last session. So, um, I'll take up, uh, as I told you, know, guys, I will take up the backup sessions for the people who has been joined lately, and I will discuss regarding that. I will confirm that re related to that. Just give me a second. Right. Right, guys. So uh, let us continue the session, guys, uh, from the last discussion, what we have been gotten. So mainly, guys, we have been studied about mainly two different objects we have been got discussed about that. One is going to be the list, and the other one is going to be nothing but it's a tuple, actually, guys. So we have spent a little bit time on the list concept, guys, because, because that is the first object we have been got created. So uh, we have to understand all the methods. It has been taken some time actually. So mainly we have been seen how to create a list and apart from that, how to index and how to slice them actually, guys. We know what is indexing and slicing. Maybe some guys who has been joined lately, uh, maybe they don't have the idea about what is indexing and slicing, but does not matter actually, guys. And apart from that, we have been discussed about the different methods actually. So at least we have discussed about the different, different methods. Same tuple also, guys. Uh, creating is the same. Only difference is put them in the square brackets is a list. Put them in the parentheses is a tuple, actually, guys. Same concept, indexing and slicing is going to be same technique, actually, guys. There is nothing difference will be there. And apart from that, coming to the methods. Just a minute, guys. Right. Coming to the methods, we have been seeing some kind of a methods, but all the methods, whatever that appeared. Yeah. So all the methods that appeared in the list may not appear in the tuple actually, I guess, because list is a different object, whereas the tuple is a different kind of an object. But similarities are there, but only the difference here is tuple is going to be a mutable object, guys. Whereas a sorry, tuple is going to be an immutable object. Whereas the list is going to be nothing but what we are going to call it as an immutable object, actually. So what is the definition of uh, what is the meaning of mutable and immutable, actually, guys? It can be modified, guys. It can be modified. Once it has been got created, it can be modified. Whereas tuple is going to be what we call it as an, an immutable object, what we can say it actually, guys. So that is the difference between what we have been got discussed about a list and a tuple. But slicing, indexing is the same, actually, guys. Methods, only two methods are there in the tuple, guys. What are the two methods we discussed, guys? One is a count and one is an index. Only two methods are there, actually, guys. Remaining methods won't work. Why? Because is we know that clear will try to remove the element from the list. We can't add the elements. We can't remove the elements. We can't modify the elements. But indexing, slicing is the same technique, actually, guys. How to index and how to slice them, we know that. Both of them are going to be a collection of heterogeneous values only, but not homogeneous values. Okay. Uh, it need not to be homogeneous, but how to create a list and how to create a tuple, we have been got discussed about that, guys. Okay. And uh, just before starting the session, guys, I uh, hope all of you have been, um, anybody, guys, who has been joined for the today's class. I think I can't see anybody who has been joined for the today's session. Um, Said, uh, I think, uh, is your first session. Said Hussein? No, no, no. I actually have joined yesterday. Okay, okay, you joined yesterday. Okay, Keshav, Manohar. Yeah, I think all the guys has been, um, you have been joined yesterday. So maybe joined yesterday or day before yesterday. So I think so, guys. I Nobody is there who has been joined for the today's class. If anybody is there, please let me know, guys. Just I'll tell you what has been happened actually and how to cover the previous sessions. Okay. So once again, guys, there is a list and a tuple concept is going to be there, guys. So uh, how to create a list and how to create a tuple. Just once again, quickly, two, three minutes. I'll just finish off it, guys, so that we can get some, again, some kind of a conclusions, what I can do is, guys. So let me open the ideal, guys. Let me open the ideal. <clears throat> Let me open the ideal, guys. But as I told you, know, guys, we don't work with the ideal for completely. That means complete course, we cannot run it on the ideal, actually, guys. Only as a beginners only, we can study them. 
But after that, we are going to use an a better IDs. We are going to be using them actually. Better IDs will use it actually. Once again, guys, a quick understandings, guys. Let us say X is equivalent to nothing but either I told you we can give a sequence of numbers or don't give it. Easy to understand. I'll take it actually, guys. Type of the X. Very clearly, we can see X is a list. You can also ask what is the length of the X. Same example, guys. I said Y equals to which is going to be same numbers, same numbers I'm giving it actually, guys, but it is going to be a tuple actually, guys. What is the type of the X? Type is a function which will let you know about what kind of an object it is going to be there. 